Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a student take our Among Us project and turn it into a keychain. The steps are pretty simple, so let's get cracking. Friends, the credit for this project goes to 8th grader Russell. I had a lesson where we were making normal keychains that were rectangles, and then we also used Scribble, found our old Among Us character, and did the steps to make this epic keychain. Friends, if you haven't already completed your Among Us character, there's a traditional design and a Code Blocks design. I will have cards up above that you can click. You can build either of them and then make the same epic keychain. First, my friends, either search for Among Us or hit Create New Design if you did the Code Blocks one. I'm going to work with the Code Blocks one, and I'm simply going to go down to My Shapes Collection. And in My Shapes Collection, Notice it is on page two, because I keep adding more of these. I have got an Among Us character. Remember when you click these, it does take a second for them to arrive. When it does arrive, just simply set it down on the work plane. And there it is. Friends, when this little fella comes in here, he is only 37 millimeters tall. I want to bump that up close to 55, so I'm going to hold down shift and stretch it until that top number says 55. That's a better size for a keychain. We also cannot print him with the lump coming out of his back. So I want you to go back to basic shapes and we're gonna bring out the whole cube. Now we know that this needs to be at least 55 high and we're just gonna make it 50 wide. And then what I want you to do is I want you to find the spot where it cuts that nice and flat. I don't mind the round shape up here, but I want a flat shape for him to cut with, and we need to slice that off. When we hit group, we've now got a flat back that we can make our keychain with, and we need to rotate it 90 degrees. Now notice when you stay close, it snaps to those long lines. If you move the mouse a long ways away, then it goes one degree at a time. So it's easier to stay right beside the shape as you do it, and then press D to drop it to the ground. Now this would also not be comfortable in your pocket, so we're gonna simply click on it, and we're gonna make it four for how thick it is. Now we've got a keychain style Among Us character, just like that. We do need to add a hole, bring out a cylinder, make the side 64, Hold down shift, shrink a little bit, type the number five, and that's the perfect size for a keychain hole. You could put your hole in the middle. I like it in the corner. You could also put the hole in either leg. Of course, when it's in place, simply click group and wait for them to be assembled. Now the last feature that was really cool was Russell brought out some text and put the word sus on his belly. If you hold down shift, you can shrink it to the exact right size. Make it a hole. I'm gonna just align it with the align button. So select and align. I'm gonna pick the character as the center. And then I'm gonna make sure I raise it up one millimeter by doing control up arrow. When you group it, you've got an awesome little keychain. All right, friends, so once again, we got to thank Russell for this. Do make sure you name it. Uh, I'm going to put Among Us character, and then I'm going to put Keychain after it. Friends, if you're in my classroom and you want one of these printed, don't forget, you need to click on your shape, and we're going to choose Export, and we're going to use an STL. In my classroom, you need to slide up and find the quick access STL folder that we've all put in there and make sure you have your initials after it. And then if you have a dream color, make sure you type that as well. I will try and get the color that you've chose, but I cannot guarantee it. One last time, I wanna say thank you so much, Russell, for your creativity. Uh, that is an epic little creation. Friends, I also want to quickly remind you that TubeBuddy is epic. I use it on every video. There is a link in the description, and you can try it for free. And, of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.